What is going on guys? So I've got the bike back from the paint shop and it looks absolutely sick. Guys have got to check out Rob at DreadFX Custom Paint. I'll leave the links to the description and put the put his um, YouTube channel up on the screen. Really worth a look in guys. The quality of his stuff is fantastic. So thanks so much to Rob. Check out his channel. This bike he has had, I think he's only had the frame for three days. Three days I think to do the entire thing. You can check out the video on his on his channel. He stripped this down by hand to bare metal and it looks absolutely incredible. He was going to call me at that point and ask me if he just wanted me to lacquer it and leave it in bare metal finish. No, I'm glad he's painted it. Both of them look sick, but the paintwork just looks fantastic. So this project was going to be a super budget bike build. The bike itself only cost me £55. However, since Rob's now done the paintwork and it looks amazing, I don't think it's going to do it justice put in really cheap rusty wheels back on it and straightening them out so it's kind of going to be a medium budget dream bike build obviously i'm not going to go chuck in like 1500 pound fox forks on it or anything that crazy but i think i'm looking at maybe doing this now on a budget of about 600 650 all in which i think still pretty budget for a decent dirt jump bike I'll take you in actually guys because i've started buying a few bits for it and then to me the most important thing to buy was a decent set of wheels that wouldn't buckle and a medium set of forks. I didn't want to, I didn't want the cheapest. I didn't want solid forks. I didn't want mega mega cheap forks. And I didn't want expensive forks. I'll show you what I've got. Luckily, it was Black Friday. I didn't want to mess about with second-hand forks that might need servicing, you know, and possibly leaking oil all over the fresh paintwork. So I managed to get these Rockshock Recon forks on a Black Friday offer for 147 pounds delivered, or 146 pounds, something like that, which I think. Is amazing these forks would normally be somewhere in the region of about 300 pound trying to think there was a few bits spec wise which limited what I had to buy but I think these for the money was an absolute bargain I have bought a set of decals for the forks which I might change over I see what they look like when they arrive another thing was wheels I did I could have reused the wheels that are on there I had a I had a spare 26 inch wheel to come off one of my other bikes and the front wheel I was just gonna true up but it just weren't going to do this frame any justice to the amount of work it's had done to it now thanks to Rob. So I started hunting around for bargain wheels that were really good value for money. And check these out. I've got a pair of them but I've only pulled one out of the box because I don't want to get them scratched before fitting. But I managed to find another Black Friday deal on some Halo T2 rims. I think these were £180 a pair so I think that's an absolute bargain. Fully built with the hubs ready to go straight on. How sick are these going to look next to that blue frame? Right, so that's my main two mods that have cost me the most money. Um, I still think I'm within budget to build this thing for 600 or 650 at the most with relatively decent parts on it. I think this would be good enough to turn this into a bike that's almost like new again with some really sick looking parts on it that actually are very functional. I can't wait. Let's have a look. There's a few other parts I've got coming in the post today and tomorrow. Hopefully by the weekend I'll have this built up within two days. So don't forget to uh, don't forget to turn on your notifications if you want to see the bike build video of this bike complete. I just thought I'd run you guys through the updates of what's going on with this bike. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in a video soon. Mm -hmm.